Well, friends, as part of our service today for KAC Online, we'd like to give you the opportunity to share in communion or the Lord's Supper. It's actually a really great thing to think about as we spend that time thinking about church and our part in it. So if you'd like to share in the Lord's Supper, uh, you might like to take a moment to go and find some bread or wine or, or something like it. Uh, it might even be wholemeal and orange juice. That's fine. In fact, Thomas Cranmer, the Anglican reformer, would say, the thing that matters is not bread and wine. Those are just elements that convey the truth of Jesus to us. What matters is that we trust in Christ. So you can even share in communion by remembering Jesus along with us if you'd like to. It is an ancient and wonderful Christian ceremony. Uh, it reminds us of who we are and who Jesus is and what he's done for us. Really helpful today because one of the aspects of communion when we share it in church is that we all do it together. It's a little harder to do that when we're all at home in lounge rooms, but I'm sure that you can think of other Christians who share in this with you. And that's reflecting the truth that we're not called to an individual Christian life, but together we're called to follow Jesus. And so it is that normally we would all share in the one bread uh, cut into slices uh, and we would all drink from the one, well, these days, the one big bottle of wine poured out into individual cups because there's a, a oneness in that as we gather together as church. The other thing it reminds us of is who has made us into church, and that is Jesus, by his body and blood, by his death in our place. He has made us into a new people formed in his image to worship the Lord our God. In this symbolic meal, originating from Jesus' last supper, we express and strengthen our trust in him as we eat and drink with brothers and sisters in Christ. But it is important for us to remember that we come to God not on our own merit, but through Jesus. And so if you know the appropriate Anglican prayer of preparation, you might like to join in praying it with me. If you don't know it, feel free to join in with an amen at the end. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we are not worthy so much to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Well, friends, the apostle reminds us that on the night that he was betrayed, Jesus took bread. And when he'd given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me take and eat in remembrance of the Lord Jesus and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. After supper, Jesus took the cup and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, drink from this all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Drink in remembrance of the Lord Jesus and be thankful. Amen. Well, let's pray. The way Jesus taught us, the way we're able to pray, uh, we know God is our heavenly Father through what he's done for us. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.